So we are on our way vacation. So we're gonna take three or four days and go up to the mountains to a place called Banner Elk, Whoa. North Carolina. Whoa! My wife freaks out when uh, cars get within about 100 miles of us. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> are you looking forward to it? Yes. That's funny because this little camera it follows my face and won't uh, quit. <laughs> Look at her. Are you looking forward to it? Yes. Now we're about to run off the road, yeah. so maybe I'll quit recording. Nice little cabin, or it's really more like a condo, up here at the Blue Ridge um, vacation spot in Banner Out, and it's really beautiful. Let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. the highways right there so it's not exactly as quiet as I might like but still it's really pretty and uh, we're looking forward to we're gonna be here about three days just a short little mini vacation in the middle of the week heading back home on Thursday I'm, pre I'm preaching again on Sunday so we didn't want to stay too long and uh, taking the other half of this last week of vacation that I get in November With a, bobber and the a lot of little bobbers right in that how many fat people can you fit in a car? Four. One? <laughs> Two? Is there anybody back there? Well, he's kind of a fat head, but... <laughs> That's my brain. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to go fishing because the lake here, no catchy de fish. <laughs> Do I need to get my fishing gear in here then? Huh? Right now. Did, well, yeah, you didn't bring it? I thought we were going shopping and then... We're going to the lake today. We're going to do... Okay. Bring the spray. By the way, that's my mother and father-in-law back there. The, the mother-in-law's are the one on the side. The father-in-law is the one in the middle. In case you couldn't tell. I know these days it's tough. It's kind of hard to figure out. Be with you. And this. <laughs> I know what that really means. Because I am such a redhead, used to be, we're here at the Walgreens in town looking for a hat. Because I'm going to burn as we go out to this fishing lake. So let's see what we can find. And you get to come along for the ride. They found some bug spray you know I see this kind of stuff and I think to myself what about the people in foreign countries what do they do they get eaten I was hoping they would have a hat but I don't see one chocolate <laughs> here's some hats you want peanut butter crackers? skinny pop popcorn I have all that stuff in the sugar mountain I don't know ball caps just don't fit on my head right but I wear them anyway that's better than nothing, so I think I'll get it. How do I look? Like a dude. Huh? You're, not, you're gonna burn your ears. They didn't have oh, anything did with wings. Some, did you show I got nothing with wings. You need something. You need the kind of the flap though, up that's here. Okay. Yeah. Ray got a white one. I, I tan one. So. I need right. like a a cloth to yeah. droop down behind it, don't you think? Like uh, I have a Rick's <laughs> girlfriend. Yeah, on the middle. On the middle. I have a white. And now we are in the trek for snacks. Snacks for the old people. You're the old people, Dad. What'd you say? I said you're the old people. Oh. Just Don't you know, Ray, you books. Books. You're not buying more books, are you? Uh-oh, it's a war. This is too fun. 
isn't it? I was hoping for one of those big hats, you know, the kind that uh, with the big old brim covers all over your head. See, we get out here in the sunshine. Ooh, look how bright that is. Yeah. Guys, whoever's watching this, please help me. He's keeping me hostage. I haven't eaten in seven weeks. How wide is Dad? As far as the east is to the west. Funny thing is, this is the exact same uh, way it looks when Donald Trump gets his hair done. <laughs> we looked at the reviews of this place, the Grandfather Trout Farm. Right. Well, there's the sign. That big old trout. And it said, this is the perfect lazy man's place to go fishing. And my thought was, that's perfect. Because I'm a lazy man. Checking over here and do a little fishing. Look at that. That's what we're fishing for today. That's awesome. Of course, I don't have, hope I don't catch one of these. That's the fun of these pay legs is look, they are absolutely stocked. Great for lazy fishermen like me. Yeah, I don't think I want to catch that fish right there. That would not be real appetizing. Kind of let it sit for a minute, babe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look. Michael, watch. Michael, Michael. I think he's going to... Oh, maybe not. I might have the bobber up too high. Watch, 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 watch. There's a bunch of them. It's too high up. Oh. The bobber. Go ahead and reel it in a little bit. Because look at there. Oh, Kevin. Oh, Kevin. He got it. Oh, too fast. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't know if you can see all the fish in this lake. Little kids are catching fish. Everybody around us is catching fish. We're not catching fish. And you know what? This is my vacation and it's supposed to be fun and enjoyable. This was not fun or enjoyable. Nope. And so I'm done. I am not gonna buy the lie. Hey, that'll be fun, let's go fishing. I'm not a fisherman, it's not fun to me. Cause I've never caught a fish except one time out in Just the ocean. On you got. So I'm not doing it again. Well, we've had a nice relaxing afternoon in our cabin after fishing. And of course the fishing debacle you know, I, <laughs> my whole plan and purpose today was just to go out there and have a good time and enjoy being out in the nature and hanging out with my son because I know he loves fishing and sometimes you got to do things that they're not really your favorite thing, but you want to be with your family, with your kids. And that's the whole purpose of, you know, a vacation like this is just coming and hanging out with the, uh, with the family. But I get out there and I'm just so competitive. 
And it was like me against the fish, you know? And I found myself thinking, this just isn't fun. And I want to enjoy this. I want to have fun. I want to just experience nature and see the beauty of it and everything. And instead, I find myself getting frustrated, you know. We'd, I almost got one. I, I got him on the line almost. And I was trying to set that hook. And, and as I kind of yanked, maybe a little too soon, you know, the whole line came flying back and uh, got it all tangled up. And Michael had to come and help me get it untangled because I couldn't get it. I don't know. It just, it just taught me I need to calm down and be less uh, stressed out about silly things like that. But you ever do that? Is that you I mean you have those kinds of weaknesses that when you see them in yourself you don't really like it too much and uh, you know you, you wish you could find a way to, to overcome that get past that but then I also thought about you know here we are out fishing and I'm I'm putting my line in and there are just tons of fish everywhere you know they stock these lakes and in fact they had just stocked it and I thought you know, this is going to be easy, and uh, we're going to drop the line in, we're going to catch fish like crazy. And I think about, you know, Jesus said, I will make you fishers of men. And so then you go out and you try to share the gospel, and you think, this is the greatest thing in the world. I mean, the creator of the universe loves you so much, he died for you. He then realized, you're not going to believe that or accept it, but he sent his son and his son took your punishment. You should have been dying in his place. But he died in your place. I mean, think about that. You know, like the Secret Service, they'll die for the president to protect him. Imagine if it went the other way around. If the president of the United States jumped in front of the bullet to protect a Secret Service agent. And that's kind of what Jesus did for us. And then he goes out and he says, go and make disciples. And he says, I'll make you fishers of men. And how do we do that? Well, you got to have bait on a hook and you got to have it out among the people, but it's got to be bait that they want. And I just, I know that I'm not often that kind of bait and that's kind of shameful. So we need to we need to be good bait. We need to be winsome and, and caring and forgiving and loving. And, you know, all the fruit of the Spirit, love and joy and peace and patience. Oh, boy, I didn't need some patience today. I didn't have any. Uh, so I guess fishing, it teaches us something. Even if I don't enjoy it, it's not my favorite thing to do. I don't plan on doing a lot of it. Um, but it did make me think today.